Magbine or dengu is highly alkaline. That means that it's acidic, so it causes heartburn whenever you enjoy your magbine. So in this recipe, I'm going to be showing you a tip on how to cook magbines and to not have some heartburn. So we are going to be making magbine curry and it's going to be a very simple recipe with very basic ingredients and the outcome is going to be delicious. I'm going to start off by sorting my magbine or dengu. So I'm going to transfer to my countertop carefully. And then I'm going to be picking out the rotten magbine and a few stones which I'm going to come across. So I'm going to sort out by placing the unwanted mug bean aside. Because the mug beans are very tiny, it's going to take around three to five minutes to sort out your mug bean. Once I'm done sorting out my mug bean, I'm going to transfer back into my bowl. And once you're done, the second step is to wash your mug bean until it's clean. So that is what I'm going to be doing by adding in a cup of water. And then I'm going to wash the mug beans for around two to three times until the mug beans are clear. After washing your mug bean, this is how they're going to be looking like. And they're nice and clean. So the third step is to boil our beans. So I'm going to be using a pressure cooker to do that. So over medium high flame, I'm going to place my pressure cooker, which comes in handy. And then I'm going to be adding in my clean mug beans and add in three cups of water. Then next, I'm going to pick my lid and apply pressure on my lid while I lock. You're going to be boiling your mug beans for around three whistles, which is going to take around five minutes. As my beans are boiling, I'm going to chop up my veggies ready for cooking because it's only going to take five minutes. So I'm going to place a wet kitchen towel on my countertop so that the chopping board can be secure. And because I've already removed the skin of my onions, I'm going to pick and using a sharp knife, I'm going to cut into strips and dice. Prepping up your vegetables is going to make cooking very easy. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So once I slice my onions, I'm going to finely dice my onions. Red onions are always my favorite because they are full of flavor. Once I'm done chopping up my onions, I'm going to transfer to a bowl. Place aside. Next, I'm going to pick my tomatoes. Remove the top part of the tomatoes and cut into strips. Dice. Transfer to my bowl. I have some leftover capsicum over here that I used earlier on. I'm going to be adding in some green and red. I love adding in different colors of capsicum because they all have different tastes. For example, my green capsicum has a very nice taste, adds a very nice taste to your food. But the red capsicum is going to add in a little bit of sweetness because the pepper is sweet. So I'm going to place aside and chop up my red capsicum. My water is almost coming to a boil, so it's going to take around five minutes, as I said earlier on. Place aside, and lastly, I'm going to be chopping up some coriander. 
and whenever you are cooking, always add coriander stems because they have lots of flavor. I'm ready to cook. All I have to do is wait for my mug beans to get ready. You're going to check on your mug beans by using a wooden spatula to release the excess pressure in your cooker. And once all the pressure is out, you're going to carefully twist your lid and open the cooker. Just like that. This is how my mug beans are looking and they are well cooked. As you can see, they are very soft and mushy. Super hot also. So I'm going to place my beans aside. Pick a pan, which I'm going to be using to add in some flavor to my mug beans. And over medium high flame, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of cooking oil. When you're cooking oil, is what you're going to add in your onions. Saute your onions until they have a very nice golden brown color. Browning the onions is going to add in flavor to our mug beans. And that is going to take around one to two minutes of a medium high flame. Watch over your onions as they're cooking because you don't want some of them to burn. So keep stirring as the onions cook. Next, I'm going to be adding in tomato paste, which is going to add in lots of color and also a lot of tomato flavor. So using my spatula, I'm going to add in my tomato paste into my pan. Stir in, add in a splash of water, which is going to help the tomatoes to cook down. So I'm going to add in around a, a quarter cup, that is two tablespoons. Stir in and let everything slowly simmer until the tomatoes are well cooked. So I'm going to reduce the flames to medium low. As my tomatoes are cooking, I'm going to be adding in a couple of very flavorful spices and also there are some spices which are mild. I have some paprika, curry powder, garam masala, some cumin powder and garlic powder together with two seasoning cubes. The seasoning cubes are quite optional. You can switch with some salt. Use my spatula and stir in the spices so that they can cook together with the tomatoes. The tomatoes are cooking down. So I'm going to give the tomatoes another one minute. If you notice that your pan is drying out and your tomatoes are not yet cooked, add in a splash of water. Stir in and let the tomatoes fully cook down. Once you notice oil separating from the tomatoes, as you can see, you're going to stir in your tomatoes because the tomatoes are ready. And you can catch the lovely flavors of the spices, especially the garlic powder and curry powder. Yeah, it's quite flavorful. So the next step is to add in my parboiled mug beans. So I'm going to be adding around two cups of my parboiled mug beans into my pan because the recipe is for around three people. Stir in the mug bean into the delicious, flavorful tomato sauce. And once the mug bean are fully combined with the tomato sauce, I'm going to be adding in around one and a half cup of water. Stir in the water and let all the spices and the tomato flavor infuse together with the mug bean. So I'm going to wait for around 30 seconds to one minute so that my pan can come to a boil. Then I'm going to be checking the seasoning. If it's not perfect, I'm going to be adding in some more salt to perfect the seasoning. While everything is cooking, reduce the flames to low so that everything can cook slowly. Check the seasoning. I need a little bit more salt. around a quarter teaspoon and also I need 
a quarter teaspoon of sugar to neutralize the acidity of the tomatoes. Stir in everything and cook for another one minute so that the salt can absorb into the beans, the mug beans that is. <laughs> While everything is cooking, I'm going to add in my red and green capsicum because I love my capsicum crunchy. So they are going to soften up and not lose the crunch. Stir in. If you try out this recipe, you are absolutely going to love the flavors. And, and if you're not a fan of mug bean, this is the recipe for you. <laughs> After one minute, I'm going to be garnishing with some coriander. Which also is going to add in lots of flavor and color as well. I love adding coriander at the end because every bite is filled with that very delicious cori coriander flavor. Stir in and put out the flames. Yum. My mug bean curry is ready and this is how it's looking. You can catch all the lovely colors because of the assorted peppers and coriander. Also, the, it has a very nice red color because we added in some tomato paste and the flavor is just top notch. So good. Everything is just perfect. So this is a recipe worth trying because all the ingredients are very basic and the outcome is going to be some delicious muffins. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll be trying out or giving the recipe a try. And you can tell me in the comment section how your mug being turns